was Aqualung, the year was 1971. I'm Ian Anderson from Jethro Tull, and these are the sounds of the time. Music slipping into the, the popular format, so it came via blues, it came via black American blues, and it had impacted upon a whole generation of young, middle-class, white British boys, most of whom went to art colleges enamored of this rather loose, slightly rebellious, um, and very free-flowing music that just seemed to erupt from the soul. I was like many of my teenage peers back in the in the mid-60s, you know, I wanted to be an electric guitar player. I mean, that, that was the sexy thing to do. Everybody wanted to play, you know, a Fender Strat or a Gibson Les Paul, and um, and be a, a guitar hero. The flute was, was a choice, not because it was particularly thought through, it was just hanging on the wall of a music store and I had my battered Fender Stratocaster and part exchanged it for a flute and a Shure Unidyne 3 microphone. And um, those two things, the flute and the microphone, served me over the next year or two in establishing Jethro Tull as a, you know, as a a band with some emerging and growing popularity. At the very beginning of, uh, of Aqualung, not that it's played on the flute, but this is the classic guitar line, and that began by me playing that on acoustic guitar. On acoustic guitar, in a, in a holiday in bedroom, trying not to wake up anybody in the room next door. But in my head, it was da 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 da. So when I you know, then ran through that and showed the notes and the chords to Martin Barr, it became immediately something different. Well, inspiration is, uh, it's, it is a mixture of inspiration, that sense of suddenly the time is right and you are visited by the muse, it's not something you choose to do, but you just have this creative moment, a creative flush, and that's, uh, that's nice when it happens, but I think more often than not, more than 50% of the time, you've actually got to go out and meet the muse halfway because if you don't step outside of yourself and your comfort zone and go looking for that inspiration, it's probably not going to come. To be thick as a brick.